Hello, my name is Lou Niemeyer and I'm with EnviroMed Design Group. Welcome to our office tour. Today we have a great opportunity to share with you an exclusive look at one of our premier offices. This beautiful office belongs to Dr. Ed Scherter in Naples, Florida. One of the goals Dr. Scherter had was to create an atmosphere of low fear and high trust. In addition, he wanted an environment that truly reflected the quality of dentistry that he provides. Brian Kroger, who is our Director of Technology Services, was very much involved in the design of the computer systems. And Dr. Scherter has agreed to sit down with Brian and share with him some of the successes that he's experienced as a result of doing this new office. So we invite you to sit back and enjoy the interview. Once again, we're here at Bayview Dental Arts, the office of Dr. Edward Scherter. Hi, Ed. Thanks for having us to your beautiful office. Well, thanks a lot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ed, what was your primary reason for deciding to build a new facility? Well, my motivations were several, but I would say my primary motivation was to develop an office that would reflect the type of dentistry that I deliver to my patients. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I don't, as you know, may know, that patients are oftentimes unaware of the quality of dentistry that is delivered to them and um, that has to be somehow communicated to them and I think um, the office design and architecture are really one of the primary ways to do that to uh, the layperson. I know you have microscopes in your rooms. Can you tell me is that something that has helped you with care for your patients a lot? A absolutely. Um, you know being a prosthodontist, um, uh, prosthodontists tend to be um, I don't know, probably um, obsessive compulsive <laughs> type of de dentists that are concerned with um, uh, minuscule um, parts of dentistry, which we tend to believe is quite important. Mm -hmm. And um, the microscope has enabled me um, to uh, achieve the type of dentistry that I could never imagine before with even the um, highest powered loops. Um, the microscope has changed the way I practice dentistry. It has. Um, really um, opened up a whole new type of dental practice for me. Now as far as other office design features that are in your new office, um, do you see any other areas that maybe help out in that same, same way as the microscope? I've been in practice about 20 years and uh, have seen a lot of colleagues do um, uh, their own sort of build outs and designs of their dental office trying to save some money. And I found that the money that I had spent on the design of, the, of this practice is paid for over and over again every time I open the door and come into work. Mm -hmm. Was there a certain uh, direction or information that you gave to your design team to give your office this, this look and feel? Um, well, yeah, I, I, yes, I would say that it, I would divide it up into sort of two separate um, parts. One was the functional part of running or developing, designing the um, business aspect of the office. How I am able to treat patients efficiently, um, effectively for their um, health care and, and for my enjoyment. I, I said, um, I say to a lot of my patients, you know, I, uh, when they come in and they remark at how wonderful the office is, I said, well, if I'm Spending my life in, in my office, I want it to be a nice one, exactly. and, and uh, I think I've achieved that. Yeah. I wanted it to be a really a, a contemporary design, but with contemporary design, I find that there could be um, an element of coldness or sterility or um, uh, apprehension or a mm -hmm. scary place when you combine contemporary design with a dental office, yeah. okay? So I, I really wanted to do the contemporary design but soften it up for patients so that they were not scared when they walked in the door. If you had to pick your favorite design element in the whole office, what, what would you pick? Well, there's so many of them. I'm sure it's, <laughs> that, kind of, it's kind of a hard decision. That, that, that is a, a hard decision. Um, if I can maybe probably, instead of a single element, I would like probably, I, I think the, the number one uh, feeling that I had captured in this office, and I say I, I of course, I with, <laughs> with the, you yeah, and team. the design team, <laughs> was um, the feeling of walking into this door and, and walking down the hall in, for a patient who knows nothing about dentistry or advanced 
prosthetics or implantology to really know that something special is being created or manufactured here. And I wanted that manufacturing feeling. If you take a look at some of the lights in the laboratories and the openness of it, 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 it almost appears like a, a, lo a New York loft or a mm -hmm. machine company, but not a scary uh, machine company, a, a very special fabrication, uh, a place for fabricating special mm -hmm. things. I really appreciate you sitting down and talking with me. Oh, thank you very much. Thanks again. This is Brian Kroger with EnviroMed Design Group, and this was Dr. Ed Scherter's office in Naples, Florida. We sincerely hope you enjoyed the office tour. If you like what you saw, we invite you to check out our website, and be sure to click on the gallery page for a sampling of other offices that we've done. Also, if you're interested in the services we provide, click on the services tab or feel free to call us at 512-707-7400. We would love to speak with you about how to make your dreams for a new office a reality. Thank you and have a fantastic day.